What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over pulse and hard sync. So pulse is a square wave, much like this uh, square wave, but pulse is silent. No, I'm just joking. It's uh, an adjustable uh, pulse width of the square wave. So you have your phase down here and this is how you control it. Right, so if you're uh, 180 right here, or 190, or 180, yeah we'll say that. You have your square wave, but then you can adjust the uh, the pulse of the duty cycle in the positive or the negative amplitude. Negative. And when you modulate this with an LFO, uh, that's called pulse width modulation. So that's the sound of you know those old school synths. Another sound of the old school synths is called the uh, hard sync. And I'll give you an example here. We'll just uh, load up two squares. We'll enable it, oscillator 2, two squares here. Right, so right now you have volume. We can fine-tune them, fine-tune one of them. Right, so now they're going, they're both playing, they both start at the same time, but then they go out of phase every, and they don't restart every cycle. And when the hard sync is on, they restart every cycle. So with this, right, especially if I'm free running, right, just chaos, but it's good analog chaos. Each oscillator is running at their own kind of speed and the fine tune it could be a little off. It's, it happens in uh, older gear. The, uh, the pitch the pitch tracking goes out and that's how you get that sound. They're not perfect. So we can make it perfect with something called hard sync. So what that does is every time oscillator one's duty cycle finishes so I'll show you what a duty cycle is. A duty cycle is from here to here. Right, that's the duty cycle. That's just the shape of the sound. That's called the duty cycle. Every time the duty cycle of oscillator one is finished, it restarts oscillator two, and it's called hard sync. So it just keeps on resetting. And I'll give you an example of what that sounds like. Oh, I'm gonna turn it on. So right now, they're beating. They're phasing. You can hard sync them. press that all day and it'll still look like that and we can uh, adjust the pitch all right so every time that duty cycle you can kind of see it the duty cycle of the first oscillator first square every time that finishes oscillator two restarts and that's called hard sync all right Right, and you can do some pretty neat things. Another thing, say if you want, if you don't want it to sound hard synced, but you still want it to sound synced up, and the reason why you do this is if you have like a bass, if you want it to bite every time, like that. Right, if you have the sync off, it just starts whenever it wants to, especially if it's free running. Right, you don't want that. You want it to have continuity with every time you hit that key. And that's the secret. Well, not the secret, but it's how you make your low basses sound good, basically. You can adjust the phase, the phase adjust, the phase alignment of the second oscillator, but it still syncs the same way. You can see it moving. Right, so say if we want that, they're kind of canceling each other out. So you want that for just maximum biteage. Right? And uh, there you have it. That is uh, basic uh, pulse and hard sync. Hard sync is very useful for basses if you want them to be, if you want them to bite every time and you're having some trouble. But yeah, uh, that is it for that. And we'll be back.